Good day my friends, in this video I will show you how to modify this Casio W800H to have 5 alarms. Actually this watch is already modified before to have the countdown timer. And if you want to know how to do that, you can check our other video, I will put the link in the description. Okay, now I will continue to modify to have 5 alarms and to do that, first I will open the back plate. Okay, you will need a screwdriver like this. Now I will put the back plate somewhere safe, okay? And this is the module inside the watch. So now we will need to take the module out and wait. So is the spring attached well or is it removable? Okay, it is attached well, so I don't have to secure it separately so now I will need to just take off the module and to do that I will use this flat screwdriver to push from the side pry it out slowly okay now we have the module out yes and I put the case somewhere safe okay and this is the module now I will open the module assembly and to do that I will use this screwdriver the flathead screwdriver and pry open this uh, point this position also here here and then here and also here wait slowly carefully okay Yes. Okay. Now we can take the assembly off. Like this and we have each component like this. And now let's take a look at this PCB. This is the PCB of W800H and there are several uh, contacts or uh, terminals so this one at the corner is the one that I modified before for the countdown timer from connected to disconnected and then or from close to open and then we have here five terminals or connectors so we are going to modify the third one this one let me put closer to the camera okay so this one and we will change from open or disconnect to close or connect yeah I will do it out of camera it's a bit difficult to to do in this position okay now we are back and here's the result I just connect the third uh, connectors here as you can see it has soldering lead and you might also see that I messed up this one <laughs> sorry the the remaining of the soldering lead falls here but it has no uh, problem with that so this is originally open so if I ruin that one it has no impact whatsoever so now we'll put the module back together and to do that this is the orientation so this is the position of the uh, PCB and this is the, the LCD and yeah 
put back together like this Okay, now the module is up and running. Anyway, if uh, there are problems with this uh, module after you assembled and has some problem with the display, you can do AC reset. And okay, I think it's better to show you how to do that also. In this case, actually, I don't need to do AC reset, but yeah, let's just do it. So as you can see here, the 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 time is already running and after AC reset it will start from the zero again so let me show you to do that uh, here you can see that after battery replacement contact AC or all clear I think with the negative uh, terminal and here the negative terminal is this one this uh, steel plate okay and then the uh, the AC is here maybe yeah this this point here the small point here so we will take the tweezer to touch that and touch the negative terminal here okay so it should start again okay as you can see it reset again and that's how to do the the AC reset for W800H and yeah basically it's already done and let's see if it shows the result or not mm, okay oh, sorry the mode button should be here this is the alarms and we can see alarm number one two three four five okay so the modification is working and let's see are there any impact to the other feature so far so good it has no beep sound yet because we haven't assembled with the back plate that's okay okay so now let's assemble this module to the case and also cover with the back plate make sure the orientation is correct <laughs> you don't want to mess that up okay so now actually it's better if you use a glove like nitrile glove or something to avoid touching the terminals too much but in this case i'm not wearing any <laughs> sorry about that and as you can see also that my soldering skill is not the best so uh, sorry about that also the seal ring is already in place and yeah now let's put the back plate Okay, now let's take a look at the new feature or new function in this watch. Alarm. Okay, this one five alarms. So this should be the signal or the hourly chime. And then this is alarm number one, two, three, four, five. Let me try to set alarm number one. Okay, alarm, alarm and snooze off. Okay, now alarm number two okay so apparently for the alarm number two three four five I read somewhere and actually it happens it doesn't change the uh, the the indicator here so alarm for example if alarm number two is active it doesn't change what's shown here so it's a bit going to be tricky to know if alarm number two is active or not i guess that's the downside of this modification let me just set 
something like so this is 12.05 if I adjust to 12.06 we should not wait too long to hear the alarm goes off okay it's now 12.06 and the alarm is already working even if the adjustment is not yet finished <laughs> So yeah, it's working, but it's just that you cannot see the indicator that if the alarm is active or not for that particular alarm. You will only see the alarm icon for alarm number one. Okay, that's all for this modification. And yeah, the good side is we get four extra alarms. But on the downside is that uh, I cannot find any indicator to show that which alarm is active except alarm number one so alarm number one you will see on this uh, indicator alarm alarm with snooze or off but alarm number two three four five there's no way to tell that it is active or not you just know that it's active it, it is beeping on the set time okay i guess that's all for this video hopefully this is useful and see you again in the next video bye